Hello, this is Paolo Ciccone with Preta 3D and in this tutorial I'll show you how to use Reality and Lux Render to add an alpha channel to an already existing render. Let me explain this in a little more detail. It's a well-known fact that Lux generates a beautiful atmosphere with sunlight. In fact, many times this is all that you need to create a beautiful scene, like in this case. I'm only using one sunlight and the sky is very nice. But there are times when uh, you want to replace the sky with something else, like a, a picture of a real sky with clouds. Now, the classic way of doing this is to enable the alpha channel in reality. So you go in the output tab and you click on the alpha channel. It's very easy. So when you do this, in place of the sky, there will be just a transparent background and you can use that trick to replace the background with a choice of your backdrop. But what if you just did this and you forgot, at some point you realize later on that you forgot to enable the alpha channel and of course, you're thinking, ah, oh, now I have to stop the render and uh, start over. Well, I'll show you a way of achieving what you want without restarting the render. Okay, so let's stop this and go to the hard disk and see that image, which is Actually, let me go back to reality and we can see that I generated a Lux scene called postprocessalpha.lxs. And um, the image file that I'm going to use for that, that I wanted to be generated, is called Skydeck, which is the name of this prop. Skydeck no alpha. So here it is, Skydeck no alpha and it is exactly the image that we just saw being rendered by Lux. All right so how do I do this without spending a long time in Photoshop trying to erase this background? Well the only thing that we need is really an alpha channel so if we had a system to create an alpha channel and add that alpha channel to this image, then we, we are all set. And that is very easy. Let's go back to reality. I'm gonna enable the alpha channel and change the name for the output file. So in this case, I'll call it Skydeck Alpha. And for the scene, I'm gonna just add a underscore A for alpha. So I'll have a postprocess alpha dot LXS and postprocess alpha underscore A dot LXS just to keep them separate. At this point, all that I need to do is to re-render just a little bit of that image. So render frame, it will be rendered on two different sets of files. And now as we watch this rendering from the beginning, we will see that the sky is completely black. And that is because Lux renders the sun, but doesn't render the sky. All right, and in fact, that's the image that we want. Now, I don't care about this part here. I don't care about the sky deck anymore because I already have it. I'm gonna just let this render go for a few seconds just to be sure that I have good edges all around here. And this will take just a few minutes. So you don't have, if you spent a, a couple of hours, for example, or even longer for a render, just to find out at some point that you forgot to add the alpha channel, then you don't need to spend all that time. You just generate another image with an alpha channel, spend a minute or two, and when you're done, when you think that the image has reached the right level of detail, all that you care about is really the edges. If there is noise inside here, 
it doesn't matter we don't need this part so only care for the edges once the edges look sharp then you can just click on lux render quit it's done so now if i go back to my directory here i have skydeck no alpha and skydeck alpha ha, ha. in fact we can actually see through this image so now i take these two files and i open them with photoshop all right so now i have my two files here this is the one with the alpha channel and you see that in fact there is much more grain here i don't care about this all i want is this mask so consider that you've been rendering this for a couple of hours and uh, now you want to have a solution to replace the sky in just a few minutes so here we go this is our file and i'm going to command click on the thumbnail when i do that photoshop selects the entire image now i don't want the inside of the image selected i want the outside i want the alpha channel the empty parts and you know, the transparent parts so what i do is to go to the select menu and click on inverse and you see now that the marching ends are selecting the transparent area and now here is the trick you go to select and click on save selection you give a name to this selection call it mask and then select OK all right now we switch to the destination bitmap and uh, you can see here that this layer which is the only layer is actually locked and uh, this prevents me from changing anything so I have to unlock this layer first so I double click on the layer and select OK and that will simply remove the padlock so now I go to select load the selection and I'll get my Skydeck Alpha from which I loaded the I created a selection and I select mask and then I press OK and now I have exactly the same selection so I just need to press delete and I removed the sky generated by Lux just like that that's all it takes so I remove the selection pressing command D and uh, let's try to add another sky so file and I have this beautiful sky here that I like a lot okay this is uh, a resource I found on the net it is actually a free image to use and I just uh, drag and drop it here and move the layer below and now I can adjust the layer uh, to my liking yeah. uh, I think this is pretty nice and this is all that it takes to replace the sky on a render that you already created so big time saving tip here I hope it will be useful and this is another proof of how flexible Lux Render is and uh, through reality you have access to all this power in DAS Studio. So till next time, my name is Paolo Ciccone for Preta3D, have fun!